Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. We are doing Power Apps Functions Zero to Hero series, and this is part five. In this video, we will be discussing about various ease functions in Power Apps. They are ease blank, ease empty, ease error, ease match, ease today. I would say all these five functions are for validation. Let's go ahead and see the each and every function syntax and their uses in Power Apps. I logged on to Power Apps Maker Studio. Now I'm connecting to my data source, which we are using from last three series, which is nothing but SharePoint with student data, student database. Student information as my data source. The first function I would like to discuss is is blank function. Let us see the syntax of the function and then we will implement the logic for that. As per Microsoft, is blank, is empty, class key, and blank. All these four functions work similarly, but there is a slight change between each and every function. Let us see what is is blank. Is blank works against a string. If the string is blank, it will return true. If the string is not blank, it will return false, which means is blank returns a Boolean value. Let us see how we can implement in our Power Apps. The business case I am going to take for this scenario is I want to include a gallery and show the qualified value of the student in such a way that if the qualified value is blank, I wanted to replace the blank with no status found. If it is not blank, I will show whatever the qualified status the student has. Okay, I have added a gallery and I have provided the data source student information. And now I want to filter my data in such a way that student information where state is Alabama Now I will get all the details of Alabama. If you notice that I have added one label to show the value of the qualified field. Now let us replace all the blanks with no status available. Is blank of this, if this is true, what I wanted to replace is no status found. If not, I'm going to place whatever the status the student has, qualified status. If it is found, we will get that. If it is not found, we'll get. So this is the way I can validate whether my status, whether particular string is blank or not blank. In this case, I have S yes, is a non-blank, so I got into the else case and I and I'm showing whatever the qualified value I have. If it is blank, then it is replacing the blank with the no, no status found. Now the next function is is empty. Let us see the syntax for is empty and how it behaves. Is empty is also works similarly to is blank, but is empty works against a table. If the table is blank, it will return the value true. If the table is not blank, it will return the value false. Most of the times, is empty will be more handy when we are doing a filter on a data source. When we are performing the filter and associating the filtered data to a gallery, and if I want to show the gallery or don't want to show the empty gallery, we can decide the visibility of the gallery with the help of is empty. Let us see how we can imp implement that. Now, I want to show this gallery if my filter criteria has data. If there is no data, then I don't want to show that. Say that now, if I want to show all the results 
from student information where the state is Alabama and the number of valid test takers count is greater than zero. If you see that there is no value, but I see the empty gallery here. How I can avoid that is go to visible property. I can say is empty of my filter criteria. If it is empty, which means here it is empty. I'm getting that if it is not empty, then you show that if not, you don't have to show the gallery and as well to make more user friendly to the user. How we could do is we can add a label with uh, the user friendly message as there are no records found for the given filter criteria. So user will know why they are not able to see any result set as part of their given criteria. Is blank is to validate against a string and is empty is to validate against a table or filtered result set. And the next function is is error. Let us see the syntax for is error. If error and is error works similar. If we see if error, if error always returns if the given expression has any error. If the given expression doesn't have any error, it doesn't give any error. Is error will throw the Boolean value as if there is an error, it will so show that true. If there is no error, it will give the value as false. As the example shows, is error of one will be false because it is not an error. Is error one by zero will be true because one by zero will never give any value. Let us see how we can implement that in our Power Apps. The business case will be implementing for this function is validating the manager existence for the given user as part of the text box. I have added a text field, a button to get the manager of the provided user from Active Directory, Azure Active Directory. And if the manager is available, I will show the manager name here. If not, I will show the error message. How I'm doing is if you see the code, I am first getting the collection of the provided user out of that collection. I am getting the manager name. If this collection dot user profile is error, meaning that what I'm doing is is error of office 365 user dot manager v2 first of this selected user ID dot mail. If I don't use first and if I use the collect collection dot ID or collection dot email, I'll get more than one record because this collection, the office dot search user will give the result as a table out of the table. First, I'm using to get the first record ID dot email. If that is there, then it will not return any error. If the mail or if the dot mail is not resolved, and then it will show the provided user does not have the manager name. Let us test the functionality. Now, first thing is I'm giving my name. I got the manager name properly. If the manager name is there, if the manager is not a name, name is not there. It will show the message as there is no manager for the selected user. How I'm doing that is if this is not having any value, it will return this error. It will return the error is error will return as true. There it is. There is no mail for the uh, manager email for the provided user. So it will return the error context. And I am setting a variable with the value as there is no manager for the selected user. And then I'm showing that as part of my error message. 
the next function is is match let us see the syntax of is match is match match and match all functions are same kind of in nature in power apps the works similar is match function tests whether the text string matches a pattern that can comprises ordinary characters predefined patterns or regular expressions usually is match we use to validate a specific pattern example if i want to validate the provided mobile number is a valid mobile number or not or if the provided email is in a valid format or not if it is not in a valid format we can always throw an error to user that the provided email address is not valid and the regular expressions we can use as this pattern let us go ahead and see how we can implement this is function as part of our power apps i am going to add a text box now i am validating the mobile number is in a specific format or not now i want to ensure that my mobile number is in 123 hyphen 456 hyphen 7890 which means that three digits hyphen three digits hyphen followed by four digits now on button on select function i wanted to ensure that is match i will be implementing a regular expression against the text input one dot text comma i wanted to ensure the format as my i have written a regular expression before and and this is the regular expression what i am trying to do is that my first character first set should be three digits followed by a hyphen and again three digits followed by a hyphen and followed by four digits if you see the question mark which means that it has to be there the it is mandatory three digits is mandatory and hyphen is mandatory here and hyphen is mandatory here and now what i'm going to do is if this is valid then i will say notify i'm going to notify the user as if it is match then uh, provided number is valid if it is not a valid format i will notify the user as whichever the format we are expecting please provide the number provide the uh, number in a valid format and the format is this and then i will close my if condition let us test how it will work 1 2 3 4 hyphen 1 2 hyphen 1 2 3 4 5 6 One two three four. Okay, four plus two four, six six plus two ten. Please provide the number in valid format. Okay, if I just say three digit followed by hyphen and followed, provided number is valid. In this way, we can easily do the validation in the screen for the mobile number. Similarly, we can write a regular expression for email validation also. the next function is is today the business scenario i would like to take for this function is i want to restrict the user to select the date as part of the date picker should be today's date it cannot be any other day how i can do that is date picker we all know that by default the date picker come with the value as today i can remove that but even then i see a sum default date how i can re remove that is select the date picker and go on to advanced property input text placeholder has some formula remove that formula 
that will make your date picker as blank. Now, I want to ensure that user is not selected any other date other than today. If user select any other day other than today, I want to show a error message as you cannot select any date other than today. Now is today date picker dot selected date. If it is true, it's fine. If it is not true, I want to negate that. If it is not today, I will say you cannot select any other day. If it is today's date, I will say great, that is the right date. Oops, it's a grammatical mistake. It should be right date. Now let's test that functionality. If it is this date on change, I'm just okay. That's my bad. I missed to say notify. as the required function. I want to notify the user as this. Okay. Now, if it is this, it says that you cannot select any other date other than today. If it is today's date, it says like, you know, great, this is the right date. So this way I can ensure that user has not selected date any thing other than today this way we can do a date validation also if you like this video do like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel for all future video notifications here is my contact i'm highly available on twitter and linkedin i can respond immediately on twitter thank you for your time have a nice day